On today's episode of Victory Formation, we are talking NFL Hall of Fame game between the New York Jets and Cleveland Browns, and we're going to be offering you one free selection in that contest. Let's roll. What's up, sports fans? My name is Chris. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Victory Formation. We are a daily football betting show that covers both college football and the NFL. Today is Wednesday, August 2nd, and we are just 24 hours away from the return of football. The NFL Hall of Fame game takes place Thursday, August 3rd at Canton, Ohio, between the Cleveland Browns and the New York Jets. We're In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, who we like in this uh, game. Obviously, it's a preseason game. I'm not an idiot. It's not a best bet. It's just a play to get the juices flowing and get ready for football season. Before we get into the plays, though, if you haven't already smashed the like button, please go ahead and do so now. And if you guys are new around here, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are approaching 800 subscribers. If we can get there by the end of the week, that would be phenomenal. Now, as we look at the odds boards, we have the New York Jets as one and a half point uh, favorites against the Cleveland Browns with the total sitting at 33 and a half. The New York Jets have not been in this Hall of Fame game uh, since 1992. And the Cleveland Browns last appearance in this particular game came all the way back in 1999. With that said, those stats mean absolutely nothing, but the goal for this video is to find out you know, what the team's plans are coming into this contest, what they're looking to work on, and what the motivation level uh, to win is uh, ultimately will be. To start, we must look at the quarterback situation for both teams, and the Cleveland Browns are going to be trotting out Kellen Mond uh, to start under center, followed by uh, Joshua Dobbs and uh, newly acquired rookie uh, Dorian Thompson-Robinson. Kellen Mond, uh, he was drafted by the Vikings a couple seasons ago. Mike Zimmer couldn't stand the guy. He said he was atrocious, and he basically shipped him out of town the first chance that he got. Has Kellen Mond uh, responded and gotten better uh, over the last couple uh, seasons and off seasons? He's got just five pass attempts in regular season um, action, and going up against third and four string, uh, you know, defensive units, he he might be able to you know string some things together. But I'm going to take a wait and see approach on him, and I don't think he has the ability to you know uh, you know drive down the field and put up points in a hurry. Uh, following him, Joshua Dobbs, Dorian Thompson Robinson. Uh, you know, Dobbs has been with the Steelers for the last couple of seasons. DTR is a rookie coming out of UCLA. Um, not exactly, uh, you know, talented, uh, you know, quarterbacks by any stretch, but they could uh, be able to, you know, make some noise late in the game. But ultimately, I don't see it. As for the Jets, they start Zach Wilson under center. Obviously, he's been a, you know, NFL starter for the last couple of seasons. He's taken a major fall from grace. Uh, you know, he's been roughed up of late. He's kind of, kind of got the yips a little bit. But he's battling for a backup position to Aaron Rodgers, obviously. And behind him, you got Tim Boyle and uh, Chris Strebler, who most of you will know from his time in the CFL. It's up to Zach Wilson here against third and fourth string defensive units uh, to, you know, to be productive and show that he still has what it takes to be a serviceable uh, quarterback in the NFL. Um, but ultimately, we just don't see any, any sort of uh, points being scored in this game, which means historically... This Hall of Fame game has, uh, you know, been low scoring of late. It's gone under this total in seven of the last uh, 10 meetings since 2010 with three games canceled for various reasons. With that said, I do believe both uh, coaches are going to take kind of a, a, you know, a, a lackadaisical approach to this game. They're not known exactly for, you know, breaking down the wall in the preseason and in winning at all costs. I do believe we're going to see a vanilla game plan. I do believe uh, the quarterbacks are going to struggle, um, you know, one through three basically for both teams. And I do believe we're getting a little bit of point value here with the 33.5. Give me the under 33.5 points at odds of minus 110. That wraps up this episode of Victory Formation. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to help support the videos, please smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and share these pics with your friends on social media so we can all make some money together. Until next time.